I'm Amir Haji Akbari. I'm a postdoc in the Department of Chemical and Biological Engineering, and I work with Pablo de Benedetti. Uh, so my work is on ice nucleation, and this is a very important process that happens in the atmosphere and is basically responsible for all the rain and snow that we see in our day-to-day -day life. So the question that I'm particularly interested in is to use computer simulations uh, to determine how fast ice freezes in the clouds. And uh, this was a very challenging problem because if you want to do this for realistic models of water, you need to make certain modifications uh, to the existing techniques. And that's what I did in my research. Uh, now, the rate that at which ice uh, water freezes into ice uh, is a strong function of temperature and typically it increases by decreasing temperature and because uh, the ice becomes thermodynamically less stable and the, the, the this stability gap between water and the I, sorry water becomes thermodynamically more stable and the stability gap between the two structures uh, makes it easier sort of say for ice to form now, uh, for the temperature, the temperature that I was interested in, and I looked at, was 230 Kelvin, which is 42 degrees Celsius below, 43 degrees Celsius below the experimental freezing temperature of ice. And uh, I, I, I observed that. What I get from my calculations is that you need to wait around one second if you had. Uh, one cubic meter of pure water without any impurities or any uh, nucleating surfaces for freezing to start and complete. So why, why is this important to know? What kind of practical applications does this have? Because that's what determines the, uh, the timing and the rate of precipitation in clouds and also how much uh, uh, light they observe absorb and uh, the, actually the, the fraction of ice in a cloud is a very important parameter in climate models uh, for predicting weather. And also eventually uh, you are interested in, uh, so this, this, is, uh, this is what I studied is homogeneous nucleation, is when water freezes in the absence of any impurities or surfaces. But that's not what happens in the clouds. In the clouds, you also have a lot of impurities, and they lead to a process called heterogeneous nucleation. And one wants to understand these types of processes and also to design materials with controlled uh, ice formation capabilities. So the interesting question that exists is to be able to design surfaces that have a known ice nucleating capability and you can use this for seeding the clouds or if you have freezing inhibiting surfaces you can use them like in the aviation industry like in the wings for de-icing etc. And it also has a lot of important uh, like importance in studying biological systems like how do cells at low temperatures avoid freezing and these are all types of questions that could be addressed with these types of techniques. Great. Well, thank you so much for talking with us. We really appreciate it.